it's prophetess mary tama here and today i'm talking about christian music or what you call gospel music a lot of christians don't actually realize that a lot of gospel music is satanic a lot of gospel music is demonic um all music is spiritual okay all music is spiritual be it rock be it um hip-hop be it um rap be it country be it rock any music is spiritual because even lucifer was the greatest musician so any music is going to be spiritual anyway okay and christians don't understand this that all music is spiritual they think when they gather together and they start singing to their god jesus that is only spiritual music no all music is spiritual and what you have to understand is that when you gather together and you start singing and chanting there is you you've already entered into some spiritual realm and there's some energies that you're evoking and you have entered into some certain level of spirituality so when christians gather together and they start singing and chanting in gibberish speaking in demonic tongues you have already entered into a spiritual realm and you think you're worshiping the god of israel but you're worshiping some other deities you're worshiping some other gods you're actually worshiping satan and one of the greatest proof that christianity already is a false religion and you're worshiping a demon and you're worshiping satan whilst you think you're worshiping the god of israel is the fact that most of your images if not all of your images of jesus it's a gay edomite who you call the savior so your jesus is a demonic jesus in your head in your spirit the image you have when you're worshiping is nothing to do with the god of israel you guys you worship an idol and you worship another god so your music obviously the source of it is satan all these gospel artists that you idolize most of them if not all are demonic and their source is nothing to do with the god of israel and just because you get goosebumps with their music just because when they sing you start to feel all these goosebumps and you start to feel high it's not evidence that you're worshiping the god of israel i get goosebumps with cold play music i get goosebumps sometimes with even necessary rhymes any music can give you can give you goosebumps any music can make you vibrate at a higher frequency it's got nothing to do with the god of israel that's what music does music is actually designed to put you in a spiritual atmosphere so any music even the most satanic music can get you in a high level of vibration so don't think just because you gather together and you're all chanting Jesus and you're all doing Rabba Shabba Rabba Shabba Rabba, don't think that's worship of the God of Israel. If anything, it's evidence that you're worshiping some other gods, some demons. And this is what I'll never understand. You, you see women like this. Look at this woman. Can you see her? This woman is called Mercy Chinuo. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Mercy Chino. She's one of like the greatest gospel singers of this generation. Yet this woman is nothing but a sorcerer. Look at her. She hates herself. She hates the way God made her. That's why you will never ever see her in her own hair. You will never ever see her in her own God-given crown. She wears these satanic things in her head. She calls wigs. And that's someone else's DNA on a head. And your hair is supposed to be your antenna. Your hair is spiritual. How do you expect a woman like this? How do you expect a woman who, who is like this to lead you into worship? I don't care how powerful her voice is. Even Satan has got a powerful voice. This woman is not leading you. Is not leading you into worship of the God of Israel. You're worshiping Satan when you listen to her music. Another one. Look at this sorcerer. Look at her witchcraft. 
Just look at her. She even looks like a witch. That's Ada Ehi. Look at her. How can a woman who hates herself to this level help you to worship the God of Israel? How can a woman who hates herself to this level bring you to the God of Israel? These are all sorcerers. She can never hear from God because of that filthy, stinking wig on her head. That's how much she hates herself. Look at this. This is Sinach or Sinach. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Look at these people you call idols. The people you worship. The people you believe that these people lead you to the God of Israel. People who absolutely hate the way God made them. These are your sorcerers. Christian music, most of it is demonic. And it, is, it has got nothing to do with the God of Israel. And most of you are going to be shocked because you think you're worshipping the God of Israel and you're busy at the altar of Satan, worshipping demons. Just because you get high, just because you get goosebumps, just because you start chattering and, and chanting some gibberish demonic tongues doesn't make it worship of God of Israel. If anything, it's evidence that you're worshipping other gods. Worship is deeper than that. Worship is not merely gathering together and chanting to some deities. That's not worship. Worship is, is deeper than that. This is worship. You see this? This is a leaf I picked when I'm praying and connecting to nature, connecting to the God of creation. This is worship. This is worship. You see? I pick this pampas grass and I adorn my house. This is worship. You see these leaves? This is all life. This is worship. This is worship. You see, my stone of destiny, I make all my accessories. This is worship. You see this mark on my forehead, the chai sign. This is worship. You see me when I love my hair, when I love my God-given natural beauty. This is worship. Not those sorcerers, the messy chino or the sinach. Those are sorcerers and they are leading you to the satanic meal. And you think you're worshipping the God of Israel. Christianity has got nothing to do with the God of Israel. Therefore, the music has got nothing to do with Yahweh, the God of Israel. I am your prophetess.